we're getting an exclusive look at three of today's hottest celebrities and designers and their favorite places. Next up, designer Michelle Workman shows how she used vibrant colors to create her most favorite space. Hi, I'm Michelle Workman and we're here in Los Angeles and this is my favorite place. It's a house I designed for clients. I don't live here, but I want you to see it because it's gorgeous. A-list celebrity designer Michelle Workman has transformed the homes of some of Hollywood's biggest stars, like Jennifer Lopez and John Travolta. I do design for a lot of celebrities, but this particular place is my favorite place. The clients are very interested in art and being avant-garde and cutting edge and so I was able to really do what I wanted to do in the space and at the same time communicate who they are. The owners of this four bedroom Beverly Hills Colonial wanted to create a modern feel against the backdrop of the home's classic Georgian architecture. This style is often compared to American colonial style and is characterized by its square symmetrical shape. What you're seeing here is the first three rooms that you see when you come into the house. The dining room, the foyer, and the living room. These are the rooms that should communicate the most about the people that live here. So, this is the foyer. I believe in making a huge statement in an entry room because that's your first impression. I put up this silk hand-painted chinoiserie wallpaper, which I love. Every panel on these walls is made specifically for this house and this house alone. This is a painting that was done by the homeowner and I fell in love with it instantly and so I had to put it up. Above you is a silver leaf ceiling. That was actually already there, and we talked about taking it out and doing something different, but once we had the wallpaper up, it really looked great together, so we left it. A pocket door to the right of the foyer opens up to reveal a chic living room. These shelves were originally just regular shelves, and I did these hex and half hex boxes. It's not your typical bookshelf. It's really meant to be a piece of art in the space. These sofas are my design. I went really dark because I wanted them to be kind of sexy and like cozy. I decided to do really simple curtains here because I love what's outside the windows and I didn't want to fight with that. I wanted to keep it really simple so that you're sort of drawn outside. This piece was already here. What's really great about this is it really speaks to who the people are that live here. They're artists and they had mounted their TV on this easel. I just thought it was really cool and funky and different. I have one more room to show you, which is the dining room, which is very different from this room. To the left of the living room is a dramatically wallpapered dining room. In this room, I went a little bit overboard with the black, but I really felt like this room could carry it off. It has a lot of light and a lot of windows, and it has the white wainscoting below, and it was totally able to carry a black wallpaper. But it's really um, very chic and cozy. Like, I feel very cozy in here. <laughs> You'll probably notice that these are shivari chairs, which you can sort of get anywhere. The chairs Michelle used in the dining room are high-end chairs often used for upscale events and parties. What I did with them was to put this cushion on and I gave it a little skirt and I did a little bow tie to hold them on so that they're sort of whimsical and fun in an otherwise fairly masculine room. The other thing that I brought in here to make the room a little more feminine 
the silk curtains, which I love. Again, I went really simple so that you could see the outside and be drawn out and have the outside drawn in. This chandelier was here and I think is original to the house. We had talked about doing a different chandelier, but once the wallpaper and the curtains were up and everything was in place, we realized we don't need to change it. It's sort of perfect. Again, it adds a dash of femininity in a room that's otherwise extremely masculine. I'm Michelle Workman, and thank you so much for stopping by my favorite place. I hope you enjoyed it.